How's it going guys? Welcome to video five of how to generate in income online using Facebook ads. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the Facebook Business Manager. There is a lot of settings in the Facebook Business Manager and a lot of them you just don't need to know about when first getting started. So I'm just gonna show you some of the features I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So just so you've got a rough idea of how to use them and you're not overwhelmed by all the settings and just give up stuff like that. But before I get started, I just wanna remind you guys if you are interested in making a income online and more about digital marketing and want to make money from anywhere in the world using your laptop click my mentors that was just a sale from me making money online so that's pretty cool um, click the link in the description below and sign up to my mentors masterclass he's the one that's taught me everything I know today um, so I highly recommend it and um, yeah click the link below sign up put your email in watch the watch the webinar and um, yeah we'll go from there but um, today yeah, let's jump into this video and I'll show you some of the settings in the business manager. So look, I'm just going to use one of my client's accounts. Um, I'm going to have it all blurred out so you can't see too much. But um, this is roughly what your business manager look will look like. It does change from time to time. Facebook just changes the interface a bit. So all the settings will still be there somewhere. So I'm just going to show you what you basically need. So here's going to be your list of ad accounts. So Yours is probably just going to have one. It's just going to have like your personal account and then it might have one ad account. You just want to make sure ad account ID and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got a few different ones here, but there, there's going to be your different ad accounts. Once you set up more, they'll come down here. So basically you always want to be on the ad account you're on um, that you're using. So yours will be ad account one. You always want to just start on that one. And then every time you're in here creating an ad, just always make sure it's on the right ad account because you don't want to create ads in the wrong ad account and then it just it doesn't work properly. So make sure that's like that. Um, so let's go over the settings. So ads manager, this is this is what we call the ads manager, and that's what I shouldn't have clicked that. But that's what this is. And basically the ads manager is is where you set up your ads um, and you analyze all the data and stuff like that. You analyze all of that and stuff like that and you can you see all the different settings how your ads are tracking all the clicks cost per clicks so i'll show you how to set all these up later on but there's three stages to an ad so first you've got the campaign so this is where you create the create the ad i guess it is you've got the campaign inside the inside the campaign you've got an ad set and then in the, inside the ad set, you, that's where you actually create the ad. So I will go through in another video and show you exactly step-by-step step on how to set up an ad, but this is just a quick overview. Um, so Facebook Business Manager has changed a lot since the iOS 14 update, uh, and you've now got this resource center, and, and they're gonna you know give you things. When you've got tasks to complete, it's gonna come up here and tell you on different tasks to complete. I won't worry about that for now. I'll get more in depth um, later on, so this is just a quick overview, but um, we'll go back here in the settings. So the, the main settings you're going to use is business settings. Again, yours might not be up here, but if they're not, they're here or they're there or like they're, they're, they're just everywhere. So ads manager, business settings, ad account settings, you you'll put, you might use a fair bit. Events manager and audience. Um, to be honest, are the, the, are the main ones we're going to use for now. Uh, unless you've got an app, wouldn't worry about it. Billing, don't need to worry about it. Brand safety, I'll touch on that later on. Uh, business suite, don't worry about it. Events manager I mentioned earlier. Media library, again, don't worry about it for now. This is just a very quick overview. There's just a lot of settings in here. Like I don't even use the media library or store locations. So I um, wouldn't worry about that for now to start off with any of these. Any of the audience insights, if it's still active on your account, Facebook is phasing it out. So if it's still active, I'll do a video on it later on. If it's still active on your account, you can use it. It's very handy, but Facebook is phasing that out. Uh, insights again I'll touch I'm just going to touch on the major ones so ads manager business settings ad account um, settings event manager and audience um, so ad manager is what I showed you before business settings is what I showed you in one of the previous videos and that's just how you um, set up all your accounts and stuff so at the very top is people and what you want, yours is probably just gonna have one name here and what I recommend is always adding someone as backup. So add your girlfriend, add your mom, add your dad, add, add one of your friends or add someone as admin just in case your personal account for whatever reason, Facebook just loves to just ban people or freeze people for two, two weeks, two months sometimes. If 
they ban you for some reason, you can't access this business manager. But if you've got someone set up as backup, then you can log in through their details and you can still access everything and, it, and you don't lose everything. So it's very important to add someone as a backup. And then also make sure those people are, are added to the pages, the Instagram account and the ad account. So it's the same as what had we set up the other day. You'll click the ad account, add people, and it will come up with all the list of people you wanna add. So just make sure you do that. Um, very important. Partners wouldn't worry about it. System users wouldn't worry about it. Pages, obviously what we talked about um, in the previous video, add the page. Um, if you just created a new page, go there, add, add another page, add it in. Add accounts, yours is just gonna be one to start off with. Um, should It should see one, it should be your name, and then sh you should, like I said earlier, you just gotta add someone else to that ad account as well. Once you spend 50 to $100, come back in, Back, back in here and um, create a new ad account. You should be able to load, you should be allowed three at the moment. Um, Facebook changes all the time. Like you can see this one's got like eight. Um, the more money you spend, they do let you open more. So, you know, to, to start off with, it's gonna be one, then three, and then, you know, if you spend a couple of hundred thousand, they let you open seven, so. Um, so that's that, wouldn't worry about that. Don't worry about apps, Instagram accounts, I spoke about yesterday, connect your Instagram accounts. Wouldn't worry about any of these. Like I said, I barely use them. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not even connected. Data sources. Um, if you're running an e-com store, this is a pretty important place to be, especially for catalogs. Um, I will do a video on catalogs later. It's, it can be pretty complicated connecting a catalog to your business manager and making that work properly. That can be a bit of a pain sometimes. I'll do another video on that. Pixels is important. Pixels is, is a bit of tracking code that you need to set up on your website so Facebook can track uh, people that visit your website. Um, if you don't install the pixel, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to install the pixel later on, but if you don't install the pixel on your website, do not start running ads. You are completely wasting money if, you, if the pixel's not set up. So um, don't start running ads until I show you how to set up the pixel on your website, and I'll do that in another video. Um, custom conversions, stuff like this, you really don't need them these days, especially if you've got a Shopify account and you're running an e-com store. Um, Shopify sets all this stuff up for you. Um, don't need any of this stuff. Brand safety domains. This is one I'll have to show you later on. Since the iOS 14 update, Facebook now makes you verify your domain inside of, of the business manager and I'll show you how to do that later on. So just um, just keep an eye out for that video, especially if you're running um, ads for a Shopify store or e-com store, you're gonna have to do that. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. Um, don't worry about that. Integrations, don't worry about that. Payment methods I spoke about yesterday. Make sure you do not add a payment method here because um, if you add a payment method to your business manager and for some reason your account gets flagged, Facebook flags the payment method as well. And if your payment method is connected to the business manager, you'll lose the whole business manager. But if you've got a ad account that's got um, a payment method and that ad account gets flagged, you've still got your other ad accounts. So they're all separate. So you always wanna have different payment methods for different ad accounts because if one gets flagged, it doesn't shut down the other one. So that's just a backup. Um, business information, like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about any of these to start off with. Business information, come down here. I would fill out as much as you can in here. Make sure all the details are correct. Do the, you know, Put a picture in that up here if you want. Put your tax details in if you want. Um, it should ask you about GST when you're setting up your payment methods. And if you've got GST, if you're in Australia, obviously you want to put your ABN number and stuff like that in so um, you're not charged GST. Um, so I'm actually allowed to open 10 ad accounts on this one, so that's pretty cool. And I've only opened seven, so I've, I can open a couple more ad accounts. Um, don't worry about verifying your account. Like I said, I've spent a couple hundred thousand on this account and it's still not verified, um, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you want to come down here and do the two-factor authorization. Um, Facebook makes you do it now. Um, dep actually, depending on what account you're using, how how old it is. Um, all my accounts that I've used, Facebook's made me set up two-factor on everything. And you just want to do it just for security purposes because it's just it's just better security for yourself and your ad account. So that's very basic, guys. The Facebook Business Manager. A quick overview of some of the things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I said, I don't use a lot of these settings, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through them because good chance is you're just not gonna use them. Um, so, Ads Manager is literally where I spend most of my time. So, that's a very quick overview of the Business Manager. Um, 
yeah so uh, in the next video I'm going to show you the different types of ads you've got dark posts you've got um, light posts you've got page posts and I'm going to show you different marketing strategies in the ads like different uh, different ads do different things and explain more about the ads process too guys so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys